This right here is the C-100 landship. Now, this might be one of the biggest walkers in Stormworks. And what I mean by walker is this thing actually steps forwards using these feet and actually walks along. Now, it is a landship. I'm not entirely sure what's inside of it just yet, but we are going to go ahead and check. Uh, it does seem to have weapons all over it as well. There is a gun on the front. Uh, I did see some sort of missile system on the back, and I don't know why that's not attached to anything. Is this glitched out? I'm not sure. There's also a gun right there too. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get inside this thing and get it moving. Let's get to it. Okay, so first things first. I don't think there's actually a way to get into this from the bottom, I don't think. So let's have a quick little look around and see if we can find an entrance. Uh, but I don't think we're gonna find one. I, I don't know though. Or maybe there is. Ah, oh, here we go. So you can open up the gate at the back, which is like a really big cargo ramp. And uh, the rear of this thing is just a big cargo area, which, um, I don't know. I, I guess you might want that. You might not want that. I'm not sure. Is this lights? Please say this is lights. Hey, oh. Hey, there we go. A little bit of delay, but that's kind of cool. Nice. Anyway, let's get into the uh, upper floor. No, we don't want the upper floor. Bridge. Yes, let's get into the bridge and see if we can actually get this thing moving. So, driver's seat is right here. Monitor, excellent. Searchlight, and we've got searchlight pitch. Okay, interesting. Well, I don't think I need that. Can I move? Oh, here we go. Oh. It's just going straight away. This is crazy. Off we go. All right, so in order to actually turn, I believe this thing just turns on some fans and that pushes it sideways. Uh, but this thing is working a hell of a lot better than I was expecting it to. Uh, it has this sort of system that I guess like a steam locomotive would have. Um, and yeah, it actually totally works. That's great. Okay, so I'm going to allow this thing to just sort of like send itself. That seems like a pretty good idea. We've got a monitor for that, a monitor for this. Uh, what is that? Activate AA missile pod. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, so you got the front gunner, so we can probably shoot this gun. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Okay, cool. This does have some controls, so apparently there is like a radar lock on this thing as well. That's quite nice. And we also have IR. Interesting. We've also got a flat gun on the top. Here we go. Let's go ahead and fire this off. Yes, nice. So that's like a heavy auto cannon, and that works quite nicely as well. And then the one all the way on the right is the rear gunner as well. Nice. That's pretty cool. All right, where are we at? Uh, we're almost at the runway. Interesting. All right, what is this bit right here? We've got a television. we got previous. we got next. Uh, we can actually search through all of the random cannon uh, cameras. That's kind of cool. We've also got a monitor right here, which goes on the top, which is for the lasers. Interesting. Very interesting. It does appear to be breaking a little bit. Not sure what's going on there, but um, it's still moving, so I guess that's okay. Alright, also, there is lights for this room as well. You turn them on right here. I don't know what this is. We got a low bridge lockdown. We got a living quarters lockdown, hangar lockdown, and locked doors. I don't think we need to do any of that right now, so let's go ahead and close this up. Let's check out the medical room and see what's going on in here. We have a med bed, we have a bunch of defibrillators, and some first aid kits. Okay, let's make our way upstairs and see what's up there. All right, we got lights. There we go. We have a view into the actual uh, hangar, which is kind of cool. If we go backwards into here, or forwards into here, we have a kitchen. This kitchen looks pretty nice, to be fair. We have some tables and chairs. Very good. We have an equipment room right here as well, just in case we needed one, uh, which has binoculars, uh, flashlights, it has radios, welding torches, and fire extinguishers as well. Oh, I think things are breaking. Things are breaking a little bit. We are going uphill a little bit, but it is still moving. That's all that matters. Okay, we have sleeping room two. Oh, this is for like everybody to go to bed together, I guess. <laughs> There's four beds in a row. We have some first aid kits and some extra equipment in here as well. And then we have sleeping room one, which has three beds and a view into the hangar. Cargo room. I don't know what you'd call that, but sure. Hangar balcony. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's got a little balcony. Lovely. Anyway, uh, can we go up from here? We have locked doors. We don't want to do that just yet. You go backwards, and then you can make your way upstairs. And there's a bunch of seats in case you need them. We've also got a television that folds down. And then we can actually change between all the cameras again. Nice. Okie dokie. So what is this? Hangar walkway. So if we jump on here and we jump into there, we can go on the walkway at the top of the hangar? 
This is kind of a very strange thing. I love the decoration in here, by the way. I think the decoration looks pretty sick. Uh, and then we can actually go to an outdoor area on the back. Oh, and then we can climb up onto the top. Oh, that's actually really cool. We've also got a helipad. Okay. I wouldn't want to land in between this while it's moving, but, you know, if it was stood still, I guess that would be cool. Yeah. And then this right here is the anti-aircraft uh, missiles as well. So they are radar guided, so just in case you need to fire some off, you totally can. And, um, yeah, that's nice. Anywho, let's go ahead and make our way back inside. There we go. Let's run all the way through the hangar to the front end. Yes. There we go. Very nice. Do we have doors out onto the front area? Yes, we do. Uh, we also have lights out here as well. Awesome. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep trekking, and, um, we'll wait until... Oh. I was gonna say, we'll wait until something happens, but actually, something's already happening. That right there is a tsunami. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna survive that, but let's go ahead and close this up, and hopefully we do. Alright guys, lock the doors! Lock all of the doors that we need to anyway, so... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this guy is closed, there we go. And we're gonna go up to the viewing bit at the top, and hopefully we won't die there. So let's go up to here. I might actually try and figure out how to get onto the roof. Is there a way to get onto the roof from the front? There isn't. Uh, but I could do this, there we go. Nice. Okay, and now we just wait for the tsunami. That's scary. That is so scary. Actually, you know what, guys? Let's go ahead and, like, I don't know, direct ourselves towards it, because I think that's the best chance we'll have. All right, here we go, guys. This is actually kind of terrifying, but I think we'll be okay. I, I don't know whether it floats or anything like that. But, um, yeah, we are walking into a tsunami right now, which doesn't seem, like, quite right. But, uh, it is happening, so that's good. Here we go. Here we go! I don't know whether we're gonna survive this. Oh! No, we are. We're gonna survive this. We're fine. We are watertight. It is still trying to walk, which is kind of strange. <laughs> um, but it has survived the tsunami so far, as long as it lands okay. And doesn't absolutely annihilate itself, which it might. Oh, it's tipped over. It has tipped over, but it does still move. Oh, would you look at that? That's so weird. That is very, very strange. But it is actually a-okay. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and stop it from moving. And, um, I don't know, try and get out of this thing. I don't know whether I'll be able to, because I need to get out of that door at the top. And we are totally on our side, and there's no way out. I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck in here. Yikes. Big, big yikes. Anyway, um, can it survive a tsunami? Uh, kind of, yes. Can it write itself? I don't think it can. Maybe some rocket boosters on the sides would be really cool to write itself, maybe. Um, but yeah, it walks, it moves, it has guns. Let's go ahead and, like, hover something in the sky and see if these guys actually work. Alright, so there it is. The tsunami has literally just passed over. There is the thing that we are going to shoot out of the sky. It is my plane that has folded wings. Let's go ahead and figure out how to actually shoot this. So, activate the AA missiles. Wait, have they already fired? Oh my goodness! Okay, it's just firing all of them off at the same time. Yikes! Okay, so I guess it'll just destroy anything that's in the sky. That's following us around if we turn this on. That's insane. It's literally just annihilated it. It sent everything towards it and blown them all up. That is, um, kind of crazy. Also, side note, I don't seem to be able to turn this gun on the front all the way around. It seems to get stuck just like this. But anyway, um, I'm gonna end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys want to check this thing out, I'll link it down below. And, um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.